Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to our channel that is about building a four motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and four Nissan Neves. And this is episode 40. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon Patreon team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to join us, there is the link down below. And if you would like to purchase this t-shirt, there is also a link below this video. Last time we removed the battery, that was epic. Five doors and now we will continue with the back. Let's start with the lights. Does it have an eclipse or something? I don't wanna break it, really. <laughs> Do I really have to remove this shit? I will not get there anyway. Can it be easier a little bit? Look at that, there is the charger. They put the charger for the motor, for the, for the battery, they put it here. We'll get into the light now somehow. Aha, uh -huh, the seats are mounted here. But we are interested in something else now. I think I have... <laughs> I have to remove the seats to be able to remove this, to be able to remove that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not, I just bend it. Okay. I already know what it is. There is a clip. But I think I will have to remove the bumper because that clip door goes somehow like this. <laughs> I would make it mandatory for every designer <laughs> after they design a car, do the repairs at least two years. <laughs> Here is a clip. Something broke. Okay, it broke off perfect. Okay, good. Uh -huh, there's another bolt. So, and now you're good. Aha. Awesome. We just disconnect the light. Connection. I can tell you these connectors. Now I have two of them for the license plate. <coughs> yeah, again, different ones. Has it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Done. Awesome. Bumper out. Ah. These two clips. One here, one here. I'm not sure now if I could do this 
without removing the bumper or not. But it definitely makes it much easier. Done! One light out. Awesome! Discussed. I forgot how I did the last one. <clears throat> awesome! Uh, I think we'll remove this inner bumper or whatever it is. It might be valuable. Awesome! Uh, Okay, and now this plate, this gar, plastic one. <sighs> we got it out. Look at that pile of, of parts over there. I have almost nowhere to put the next stuff. And this all, almost all goes to UK. I have a big driver, but now I'm a little bit worried when I see the size of the parts. <sighs> a lot of work. Finally. That's awesome, we have the back, everything to sell for people who got hit from the back is already there. I think we will disconnect the rear seat. Awesome, no more surprise, I like that. I'm curious if I can flip it. Maybe I can. It was only on the clips. In this spot is the highest part of the battery. It's the tallest size of the battery. It's placed under this. Okay, that was easy. Okay, now with this charger cover, then the sides and then this part, and then we will take off the seat bar. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so this is the charger for the battery. Inboard charger. So you can put <coughs> this vehicle into the sockets, into the electricity, and this will charge the battery. It gets so easy comparing with Tatra, that's, that's nothing. Now we will disconnect all these 
connectors I need obviously all of this for my build each of these has completely different uh, like system uh -huh. that's good each of them is different so it cannot be interchanged okay so and then these two and a little a little one from this side and then we can remove this after i figure out how to disconnect them oh action <laughs> so i think everything is disconnected from this main charger module so let's unscrew it and get it out disconnect the hoses here so here are the cooling hoses for the for the charger it's obviously a water cooled system not the battery but the charger motor and inverter so I assume if I disconnect it the coolant will will drop on me so I will need some bucket or something okay not much <laughs> it's like ordinary coolant in in with combustion engine okay so now we can hopefully remove that uh, the charger uh, it's pretty heavy It looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Okay, now we will strip the front, the quarter panels, the hood, this cover to expo expose everything what we can. I think now the quarter panels. clip broken second clip also broken I don't know if this is worth of repair I have to take a look obviously this one is repairable but I just don't know if it's worth we are getting there this is like a this is like playing for children comparing with Tatra Yeah, broken anyway okay. that's awesome everything is exposed I guess now we will do the reservoir for the windshield wipers liquid
think I will, we will remove this bumper, damaged one, from, I think from this point. And to get rid of this, to get the... <laughs> Electric horn. I don't know if this, if this pump is for cooling. This might be the main one for the uh, for the electric system cooling. Even camera woman knows what this is. Is this good? <clears throat> so now the charging input inlet is kind of strange. It looks like somebody unbolted it. pieces out okay what the hell we are going to do with this because I don't think so this is a connector it's impossible to disconnect it here too many little wires and other things is going on <clears throat> yes that's it <clears throat> we have connectors here ah! I think this is for airbags. <clears throat> yeah, there is nothing hanging there. That's good news. Okay. Another 10 centimeters shorter now. Now this middle piece, so we will get into the radiators. Why here is every <laughs> every connector is different? <laughs> Catch, super. pain <laughs> it's not that physical at all but those clips and those connectors it's impossible to disconnect them this one is broken I am wondering if the second one is okay or not I think I can feel some error I think that one is bad too Okay, and now we'll get rid of the radiators. Somehow. <laughs> Bunch of sensors, connectors and hoses. Awesome. Wow, the second one that is for cooling of the of the motor seems like it's okay. So I don't know, it's broken. Hmm. It's broken. It's completely twisted also. But I think the casing for the motors the motors are fine, just the radiator is bad. Okay, wow, well, look at that. 
Wow, <laughs> we can see finally what is inside. That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Let's disconnect the bottom. It's junk anyway. obviously junk too and when you look at it the rest is fine everything else is in perfect shape this car could, uh, could still run on the road here is obviously the electric motor here is the one speed transmission or speed reducer and you can see the drive shafts and of course here is the inverter <coughs> which changes the changes the voltage from uh, direct to uh, articulated is it the word i think from ac to dc and from dc to ac wow that's beautiful I will have it out tomorrow. And it will be wrap for today. If you like this video, please consider to become our patron. You can also purchase this t-shirt. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.